and welcome back to the channel on this video as I have the camera pointed right at it you can see what we're going to talk about but first let's introduce my special guest today it's Ernie how are you doing Ernie and Ernie if you remember back if you've seen a video several months back about about a year and a half ago Ernie came uh, onto the channel for the first time with a bike the electric uh, trike if you remember that review that we did on that bike and Ernie is back with a new bike that he's got here and let's have Ernie introduce what this bike is. This is the Ad Motor Aerosetin. Uh, yeah. And it's a trike. So this bike is the second version of this, right? So the first version had the motor in the front wheel. Right. This one has it in the back and we'll take a peek down there now. You can see in there I like the, uh, the back. I like the motor being in the back personally. I think that's much better. And it also, they also added um, emergency uh, or uh, brake right up there as well, um, which is great for if you're on any kind of a incline. Okay, so let's go over a little bit of the specs of this bike and then I'm going to ask Ernie what he thinks of it so far. It's brand new, right? You've had it for what is it, a week and a half? Yeah, about that. Wow, that's, that's not very old. So first of all, the motor that we were just looking at, that's a 48 volt, 750 watt motor. Uh, I'm not sure the make of the motor, but uh, uh, I do know the torque. And I'm checking my notes here. The torque is somewhere here I have the torque and I can't find it now, but it's, I think it's, I, oh, there it is, 90 Newton meters. So pretty good amount of torque. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so that's there. So the battery, as you see it right down there, the battery is a 48 volt, 20 amp hour. And they say you can get up to 85 miles on a charge. That's on probably the lowest pedal assist level. Right. Um, the bike comes with a, a two amp charger, 48 volt. Yep. It does have a half twist throttle over here right there as Ernie's showing you right there and then it also has fenders uh, on the bike which is always important especially living in Oregon here yeah. and you can see the fenders on both rear wheels and on the front as well Gotta have it. you definitely have to have those <laughs> and the brakes yes the brakes are great so the brakes are hydraulic right yeah. these are uh, 180 millimeter rotors down here you need brakes for sure oh, yeah. uh, what else can I tell you the controller not sure where the controller is but oh I see the controller is going to be right under here right down in there if I can get a good view of that so that's a 25 amp controller uh, okay and so Let's talk about the weight of the bike. So the weight of the bike is 94.8 pounds. That's with the battery. It has a capacity weight of 380 pounds. Uh, let's see, it comes with a headlight down there. I see the horn right there. And it comes with a tail light and it says turn signals. Is that right? Yes. Down there. That is, that is great. It yeah. also has a uh, hazard lights. And uh, you, can make, you can make all the lights blink at once if you just mess with the buttons. Okay. So we'll get to those controls in a moment because uh, Ernie knows the bike pretty well now that he's had it. Let's mention the price. I didn't mention the price yet. Right. So it looks like the regular price is $32.99, but it's right now $29.99. Is that right? Yep. And it comes with added bonuses. It comes with the head, the, uh, the mirrors. It comes with a cleaning kit. It comes with a bike pump for your tires. It comes with, a, it comes with goodies. That's awesome. And then right now it's hot. what about shipping? Did you pay anything to ship or is it free? Too sure, but I thought I, 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 I believe it's free. I, I believe it's free shipping, 
And then uh, something else I wanted to ask you about is the rack here. So it comes with that rack, right? Yes, it comes with the rack and the basket. Uh, I'm really liking that cover yeah. there. That's so that's a waterproof, is it? Or oh, yes. yes, totally waterproof. A uh, nice size basket. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah, and the, the other thing I like, I know the bike comes in different colors. Yeah. I love this color. Yeah, I chose I chose green. This yeah, this color stands out nice. I really like the color of that bike. Uh, let me get over here and take a look at it from the other side here. It looks like it has a front suspension. And the tires, we didn't mention the tires yet. So these are 20, 20 inch by 4 inch fat tires. And that's the way to go. In my opinion, For if I'm going to buy a trike, I'm buying a fat tire trike. Yeah, it feels really, really smooth. Yeah, that's what I, I would think the ride is going to be nice with those fat tires. Yes, it really, really grips the road nice, I, I say. And what about the uh, pedal assist levels? Do we know how many levels you've uh, got? Seven. seven? Yes. And how many gears do you have up here? Uh, seven speed, it looks like seven. It's a Shimano uh, seven speed. And I'm taking a look at your, let's look at your display right now. So you do have just 34 miles on it. That's brand spanking new. Oh yeah. So it shows, shows you the, uh, your battery, which is fully charged. You must have charged it up recently. Yep. Uh, your speed, your mode, there's an eco mode and uh, there is the uh, watts and the pedal assist level one. Does it auto automatically go back to one every time you use it or? Yes. And does the bike change uh, the speed if you change the pedal assist level or like when you're throttling or does that matter? Um, yes, it, yes it does matter. Yeah. So did this bag here come with it or did you buy that? No, I bought that. You bought that. Yeah. What about the water bottle? Holder. Okay. So as you see the 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 bike is the basket. Okay, so that's a look at the bike. Now I'm gonna have Ernie show me how to set up the bike to go for a ride here. Oh what about the mirrors? Did you have to put those on or did they come with it? Uh no I had to put those on. Oh, it was really easy to do. I mean, did they come with the bike though? Yeah. They came with it, but you just had to install them. Well, that makes sense. All right. Well, now we're going to set up to go for a ride. So let me fix this camera off of my selfie stick. And I am going to switch over to my chest mount to do this ride. And you have fun, I'll see you when you return. Yeah. All right, so uh, let me get the camera on my. Uh, somebody just walked by uh, and we're approving of the bike. They said it's badass. So <laughs> I guess that means you got a winner there, Ernie. Oh, yeah. yeah I, I heard nothing like this stuff. All right, it looks like we're set to go. Oh, I didn't mention the seat. Let's take a peek at the seat. How did I forget the seat? That looks like a nice seat with a backrest. Awesome. All right, let me get my stick, selfie stick in my pocket so I don't have it fall out and zip it up here. All right. So if I get on it, Ernie, am I, is there anything I need to know? Have fun. Uh, you know no, what they no, need? You know what they need on this? Huh. There's no reverse, is there? No. See, a no reverse would be awesome. Yeah, I think, I think the next model should have that. I can definitely feel the weight of yeah. the bike. Well, that and the speaker adds more to weight. So this bike, when you bought the bike, they pers it's a personalized bike, right? Where they set the size, they ask you your height and weight. Yep. Okay, so you're definitely taller than I am, so and bigger. 
So, uh, oh, the, is that brake on? No, no, no. Button. The magical button. Huh? Right, right. Maybe. There you go. Okay. Still not going anywhere. Power's on, everything's on. Does that button need to be in or out? Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. All right. All right, so I'm gonna test this. I can definitely tell that it's for a taller rider. So let's go down to, oh, looks like we'll go. First, I'm gonna go to uh, Throttle Only. All right, I'm gonna go around the building here. So I'll be back. Oh, it is? Okay, so. All right, so let's. Uh, now, the I didn't mention, but this bike is supposed to be able to go uh, 20 miles an hour. It's a class two. I didn't mention that earlier, but. Got to make sure there's no cars. I'm still not used to riding a trike. It's a definitely different to ride than a two-wheeler. Oh, this bike, very smooth. Yeah, I'm not used to the uh, cornering this thing. That's where you really notice it. All right, so on the way back here, we'll do a speed test. And I'm just throttling on this particular run, but I'll do it a few times here. I'll do a turn around here. There it is. All right, let's see if we can get this thing going full speed. Throttle only, no pedaling. I don't know if it makes a difference if you uh, change pedal assist levels. Looks like I got it to 19.5. Let's go back one more time. And that's on a pretty level ground here. Let's try it going back here this way. It takes a little bit to get going, I notice. Maybe it's because I'm used to riding the Lear Graffiti and other bikes that have a little more takeoff. Okay. Try it again one more time. Here we go. Full throttle. And I've got it on pedal assist seven. I don't know if that makes a difference. Looks like I get it to 19.5 and then I'm coming to the corner. So um, it looks like around what they say around 20 miles an hour is probably it. I'm about 175 wait and so let's see what it's like on a takeoff here from the stop yeah it definitely gets going pretty good i'll tell you it's a lot it's a lot quicker than the uh than the electric uh trike that i remember as far as on the takeoff it was a little sluggish and it didn't go overly quick this bike definitely has some get up and go in that way. Okay, we're just going to go up here a little bit, then we'll do a, uh, a check of the pedal assist levels. It, it handles well. The only time I really have to get used to it for me would be the uh, turns. Well, you're, on the straight, you're fine, right? I'm just not used to riding a trike. So this is actually a semi-recumbent, they call it. All right, let's try pedal assist one. First time pedaling this thing. Okay, the pedals are definitely not set up for me. Feels like I have to reach far ahead to get to them. I, I need it a little closer to me. It's different riding this than your regular 
uh, bike because you're like the recumbent your your legs are right in front of you uh, so there's one I'm going about oh 7.3 miles per hour so let's up it to two and in number two it's going it'll get you up it looks like eight eight point six or seven okay let's turn around it definitely handles well uh, considering uh, I was going to mention about the motor what a difference having the motor in the back considering the motors not in the front wheel makes it a lot better so let's bump it up to level three I'm getting winded <laughs> yeah I'm getting a workout here so there's 10 miles an hour and I'm huffing and puffing approximately 10 or a little bit less so let's turn and go to level four Oh, level four definitely kicked in. You're almost ghost pedaling. I gotta change the uh, the gear here. That's why. Oh, feet slipped off the pedal. There we go. That's better. So it looks like level four. You can get to close to 12 miles an hour, I suppose. It definitely. Uh, pedal assist four is where it definitely kicks kicks in pretty good the first three are really kind of lethargic four definitely has a different feel so you can go like 12.2 let's bump it up to five yeah you can feel it kicking in so five big difference there 14.9 miles an hour okay let's go to six it definitely has more get up and go in five. Same with six, you can feel it even more. So that one you can get it up to about 17 miles an hour, 17.2. And we'll go back one more time and try the highest one. You wouldn't want to be having in this level for turns okay so let's go up to the highest level we're really pedaling like a son of a gun so about 19.8 and that was pedaling pretty good Let's check the brakes up here. Definitely no issues. Brakes will stop you just fine. You know what, that top speed of about 20 miles an hour, that's probably on one of these what you'd want to get. I don't think you'd want to go that much faster. Uh, 20 seems to be a pretty good number pretty nice uh, it definitely has more get up and go than the electric uh, trike right you can tell the difference it's got a lot more mm. and I yes and I can tell you that if you're going on corners not seven might be a little strong for <laughs> I noticed the first three levels it's kind of you know okay but then you get to pedal assist four you can feel it kick in more yeah. F four five six and seven are definitely a step up the first three are kind of if you're on a little pedestrian path and you didn't want to go you know too fast i think that's a good but uh you get yeah. my leg over that yeah that always gets me too yeah i guess i'm getting old i have yeah, trouble yeah. getting that's why i need to step through right, yes. yeah. so it does have the bar here for, for the step over but it's not that high but just that I am getting a little old and I don't stretch as good as I used to or as well as I used to 
definitely a sharp looking bike i gotta say i like it and i'll tell you for me it's definitely a step up from the electric trike of course it, it's a lot more money right. so it should be better i do like the fat tires a lot yeah. i like uh, 20 inch by 4 inch fat tires for sure i think the electric had three inch tires yeah, right. 20 by 3 that one inch extra inch makes a difference yeah. so let's ask Ernie a few questions here about so you you've ridden 34 miles as we saw in the very short time you've had it what is your would you give it like two thumbs up oh yeah two and a half thumbs up Definitely. and what's it like because I didn't really do any hills have you tried any hills yet oh yeah it, it takes away like a champ it, it, really yeah there's no trouble no struggling whatsoever we, we kind of think a, a hefty bike like this would struggle up a hill, but no, it, it's a tank. And what about riding it in the bike lane? Do you ride it in the bike lane? Uh, it depends on what the bike lane is. I mean, does it fit in the bike oh, yeah. lane fine? Yeah. Because that's pretty wide, right? Yeah, yeah. There, there's, there's definitely bike lanes that will accommodate it, but uh, there's some that are real skinny. Uh, now, I'm going to guess because I don't know, I didn't see how wide that is. I should have looked, but I'm going to guess that that's close to 30 inches. Is that right? right. About two and a half feet wide? Yeah. Or maybe it's a little less. Is that what happened here? Yeah, a little, a little scuff, but that's not best. It looks like a uh, dog may have came along and yeah. uh, sprayed uh, something there, a skunk maybe. Yeah, yeah no, I just uh, scuffed it. So I wonder if a person wanted to put a second battery, I don't know if you could or not. I guess you could carry one in your in your basket there, but I'm wondering if there's nowhere to put the, the actual mechanism, yeah. Do you know what this is for? Uh, yeah, it's for uh, the, the, the drink holder. Oh, okay, yeah. for the water bottle? Yeah. Oh, and it also comes with the water bottle as well. And how often do you pedal it or throttle it or both? Both. Both? Yeah. Just depends on where, where I'm at and how, how I feel. That's a sharp looking bike, I gotta say. Thank you, thank you. So it does have the sticker on here, great big sticker, no problem seeing this. Yeah. Once you know what it is, right away. And it's absolutely correct. Yeah. 20 miles an hour is right, because yeah. I got it to about 19.7. What have you gotten it to? Uh, I got it to uh, I got it to 21, but as soon as it hits 21, it goes down. Yeah, okay. They may have it uh, just set to only go that speed. I'm sure they have it. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I mean, limited. Yeah, but that's that's good. I was just mentioning too, on a trike, you don't want to be going too fast. You know, it's you just want to go a nice smooth ride. Get you from where you want to go from point A to point B exactly. safely. Yeah. Um, I definitely like this bike. A big, like I say, big step up. I can tell the difference um, between this and the electric uh, yeah. trike. But we're talking about double the money, right? So it should be twice as good. So that's a look at the Ad Motor. Uh, this is the Ad Motor semi recumbent e trike. And I will leave a link in the descriptions if anybody wants to uh, go and check it out at AdMotor. And uh, there it is. And it looks awesome with that sun shining on it. I love the color. I don't know how many colors. I can't remember now. It comes in multiple colors, right? Not just the green. You can have a choice of other colors. I think there's like maybe six or seven. But that's still, that's still good. There's some dog good colors. Here's the question. Yeah. What will Ernie bring us next year? <laughs> no, it might be a couple of years now because we're almost at the end of the year, right? We're right into halfway through September here. That's awesome. I like it, Ernie. Thank you very much, buddy, for bringing your bike along to show us. Awesome. So uh, I'm always curious, though, to see what Ernie will bring us next time because who knows? You can never say never, right? Because right when you think you have your last bike, You've got the bug, right? And then you want another one. But I don't know. It's going to be hard to top this one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll wait and see, right? Yeah, we'll wait and see. Who knows, right? A couple yeah. of years down the road, something else may come up. How about a four-wheeler? There you go. Oh, that might be the one, Ernie. Yeah. That might be the one. All right. Well, thank you for joining me, Ernie, on this video and bringing along your Ad Motor.
trike. The M was M360. This is the this is the newest. This is the 2024 edition. Oh yeah. And uh, I like it. So thank you uh, once again, Ernie, and thank you for joining us here on this video. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to leave a comment on this bike, maybe you own the bike and let us know uh, your thoughts on it. Uh, then uh, please do in the uh, comments below. Once again, thank you for joining us on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.